so today's March 31st, 2020. March 31st, 2020. Uh, it's the day they took Nipsey from us. Um, everybody obviously got their own perspective on Nip. You know, I had the pleasure of having tons of conversations with him, me and him a bunch of times. And um, just being able to create my own bond with him. Uh, he believed in me a lot. He understood the value that I had to the culture. You know, I got some unreleased footage that I'm putting out right after this. And you'll hear, and he's just like, yo, you know, bro, building a market. And, you know, it meant a lot that he acknowledged it. Um, because, you know, Nipsey was something special, super intellectual, uh, super wise, you know, obviously a street as could be. And he still was able to kind of articulate himself at different heights that, you know, wasn't normal. Um, in this video I'm about to let go, I think he says tons of dope shit. But one of the dopest things to me is why he actually chose to do records with YG. And it just was like, it just shows that Nipsey understood, and YG obviously understood that it's bigger than just Crip, it's bigger than just Blood, it's bigger than Nip, it's bigger than YG. It was more important for two new artists to share fan bases and to break down gang divides that was going on out there. And I just heard that and I was like, and you know, I think in the video, I was like, repeat that a hundred times. Because where I'm from in New York, gang affects so much on ground level with what, you know, the young artists do and who they affiliate with, who they do features with. And I just hope that maybe this video catches, like, goes super viral and then the young dudes from my uh, community understand that. Maybe take a page out of YG and Nipsey's notebook and understand that uh, it's more important than just the color of the rag sometimes. And it's just about blurring fan bases and just giving the people what they want. Um, Nipsey, I miss you, my brother. Uh, I was in L.A. last year at this time when um, you got taken from us. Um, I remember just sitting down and uh, getting a phone call, looking at Twitter, and just kind of being like, come on, man, this ain't even realistic. Come on, you didn't get hit. And then they say he got hit in front of the store, and that was accurate. And it was a mind blow. And um, I lost a good friend. And I just want to share this unreleased footage. I was holding it, and I'm like, what's the point? Get the people the footage. Let them see what's going on. Uh, and it was just amazing. Shout out to you, Nip. I love you, man. The marathon continues.
we ain't finna do our thing. Yeah, do our thing. I'm a link with you, man. You know, we music to where the bloods ain't gotta feel like moment. I'm only fucking with you. Yeah, uh-huh. ain't gotta feel like I'm only fucking with you. Nah, I'm not gonna share my fan base. I'm gonna share your fan base. Mm-hmm. Because that's a key part of the demonstration. It's a lot of moves we have to make. That was one of the key moves. Like, bro, we ain't set trigger. We don't let people. We know what we got. We got in the county jail, uh-huh, and on fact. the streets. Uh-huh. We ain't doing this in the music industry. Mm-hmm. Niggas, we're going to money. I'm going to repeat it a hundred times. Yeah, yeah.